What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I truly, really, truly, genuinely, I'm so glad you're here. And I am just so grateful for you and humbled by all the feedback that I've been getting since I decided to, uh, to start making content again. I, it really is like humbling and I, I really mean it. Like I'm so grateful for your feedback and your support. And most importantly, I'm just grateful that the messages and my intentions to help people in whatever way that I can are really doing what they're supposed to do. So thank you so much uh, for the support and the feedback. So today, let's jump into the topic. And today's topic is you are going through tough times for a reason, a very specific reason. Your life is tough right now. It's challenging. You just got fired from your job. You just got cheated on. You got stolen from. Maybe you're broke right now. You're trying to find a place to live. You have a terrible roommate. Maybe you have an illness in the family. Something. Life. As my uh, friend Angela always says, life be lifing. Life be lifing right now. And it never really changes, you know? And so you can look at that two ways. You know, the first quote, and I've used this before, is Bruce Lee says, don't pray for an easy life, pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. And we'll talk about all this in today's message. So let's jump in. As a light worker, as a star seed, as someone who has incarnated on this earth in order to raise the vibration, the consciousness of the collective, in order to help humanity as we ascend into the 5D, you have a very special purpose. In order to fulfill that purpose, you must be prepared. The bigger your vision or your purpose, the more preparation is needed. In order for you to be prepared for that vision, to be prepared for your purpose, you're going to go through a lot of tough times, a lot of trauma. If you're watching this and you resonate with that first line about being a light worker, a star seed, someone who is here to heal and help humanity, and you probably are or do, that's why you're watching this channel. Because when I say that stuff to people that aren't, they're like, oh man, this is crap, and they click off. So it probably resonates with you. The preparation comes in the form of difficult situations. If you're watching this, you probably had a very different childhood than most people that you grew up with. You grew up poor. You got hated on or abandoned by your friends, your family. You got abused. You got scapegoated. Maybe physically abused. Maybe sexually abused. You were bullied in school. You were made fun of. You always knew you were very different. People have always been triggered by you up until this day. You didn't even do anything. You walk into this new job and all of a sudden, these three women hate you for whatever reason. You know damn well why. Because your light shines bright and you're representing what they know that they could be but choose not to be. Your lightness is lighting up the darkness within them. So your preparation requires you healing and learning from these traumas, these situations that life is presenting you in order to prepare you for your vision, for your destiny, what you want, your purpose in life. And that's the reason we go through all these things. Even if that wasn't you, and you got through the first couple of minutes, you're like, none of that stuff really resonates to me, but I do like this guy's video, so I'm gonna watch it. Even if it wasn't with uh, you, you know, maybe you had a great childhood, you have an amazing family and all that stuff, but you're going through a difficult time now, this video is still for you, and here's why. You're going through a hell of a time right now. The message is still for you because what I'm gonna speak about or speaking about is a universal truth. It's why we're here on the planet which is to learn these lessons, to clear these karmas that we have in our soul family line and our family line in order to live the best life possible, in order to help humanity. By you actually living the best life you can live, you're actually helping everybody because when your energy is better and you're a happy and fulfilled person, you are helping other people just by you being you, by carrying that positive vibration and happiness. So if you're going through a hell of a time right now, life's kicking your ass, you know, again, many myriad of situations that you could be going through right now for your specific um, situation. It's for a reason you're being molded, you're being shaped, there's lessons to learn. What always comes to mind, I don't know if I heard this or I just, I don't know, I just say it all the time now. If I heard this somewhere, if it came from me through something, I don't know, writing sometime. The universe will always try to teach us through love first. But if we don't learn through love, it will teach us through pain. 
And for so many of us, we often don't learn the lessons in love because we are caught up in that beautiful, wonderful, positive emotion and feeling of love. You just got a new job, you just met a new girl, or you just, and, you know, a new guy, you're in this new relationship. Um, you know, you go to the park with him and you guys go on on dates and your, your life is amazing. You're hanging out with this dude and he's like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. And so there are lessons to be learned there, but a lot of the time we're just stuck in present in the present, which you should be not stuck, but you're just enjoying the present and enjoying that wonderful situation. So we don't really pay attention to the lessons, but there's lessons there for us in love and in positive situations. We just don't often take time to reflect because you know, it's not hurt. It's, it's, it's just good. We're just like, yeah. But it, when the painful situation is coming on, you're like, this sucks. I'm tired of being overweight and out of breath and having back pain. I am so tired of being broke. I'm over this. What's the lesson I need to learn? What What is the universe trying to teach me? I'm so sick of being cheated on. Every dude that I've dated, the past three guys have all cheated on me. What the hell? Why is this happening to me? It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. It's a lesson. It's preparation. There's things you need to learn about these situations in order for you to be prepared for what it is that you're asking for in your life. You want that relationship so the universe is bringing you all the, all the D-bags in your life so that you can have a better judge of character and learn discernment and pay, see the red flags amidst all the good looks and the money that this guy has and everything that you thought you wanted. And you still do want those things. You just don't want some of the other stuff. It's for a reason. It's all for a reason. We often don't learn the lesson of love or we often don't learn the lesson because we avoid pain. So we're wired to avoid pain. So we often don't learn the lesson that we need to learn that each painful situation presents to us because who wants to feel pain? This is how we're wired. The thing is, if we don't learn the lesson that the situation is showing us, we simply repeat the same cycle until the lesson is learned. The situation will come up over and over again. It'll just look different. So again, for some reason, I keep feeling the need. I must be talking to you ladies today or, or a few of you ladies. If you're a woman who's just always been used by dudes, you're this beautiful, attractive woman, and you've always been cheated on by all these D-bags, you know, the, the frat boy, the F boys, all that stuff, whatever, you know, and you're like, why? I'm, you know, I have a good heart. I'm beautiful. I'm kind. Like, I don't understand. Like, I really do care about my guy and try to take care of him. And I thought this, you know, every time these guys show up and they're cool, they're handsome and they're successful and they have good families and all this, but they just cheat on me. I don't understand why. And you keep attracting that same situation in your life. There's a lesson there that you have got to learn. There's something that your higher self, you're, you're manifesting those situations as much as we don't want to admit it. There's lessons you need to learn so that you are prepared for that love of your life. So that the gentleman who is, yes, he's, uh, he's powerful, he's successful, he's handsome, he's got a good heart and everything that you want, and he's loyal, and he loves you and treats you how you want to be treated. You have open communication, all these things. All these painful relationships are trying to teach you something that you need to learn to be prepared for that. One that always comes up for me is, is money. I grew up, all my friends, not all of them, but a lot of my friends, especially the close ones I grew up with, all very successful, like multiple houses, careers in finance and owning their own business. And even my family, uh, you know, I'm adopted and grew up around a lot of money, but my dad, and we even had a lot of money when I was very young, but um, my mom got sick and passed away when we were very young and we went broke. He lost all his business because he had to pay her cancer bills. So I grew up very poor, but around all this money. And it's weird that every time I tried to, I started to have success in my life and I would start to get money in my life, I would just piss it away because I wasn't comfortable with it. And we can go into, I mean, I'm, money is a very charged topic and I'm just breaking through on a lot of levels with that. So I've got a lot to teach and say about that and I'll make another video on that. Because man, that money stuff, it's energy, it's family karmic lines, it has to do with your self-worth, it has to do with so many things. But anyways, every time I tried to, or started to experience success in my life, I would sabotage myself, I would piss it away, or I would track someone in my life that would take advantage of me. I just didn't understand why. And now I, I feel that I've broken through all that. And the tests are yet to come, or they already are testing me, and we'll talk about that towards the end of the video, what that means. So, all that being said, these situations come in your life to teach you a lesson. 
it's in preparation to prepare you for your purpose and what you want. If we don't learn the lessons we need to learn from the painful situations, they'll simply repeat themselves until we learn what we need to learn from those situations. So the women uh, who constantly get cheated on and use the example, the dude that keeps going broke, you know, you get all this money and then you piss it away. There's something you need to learn there. You got, your relationship with money is screwed up. So you piss it away, man. I did that. I started earning all this money, bought a BMW. I was doing all this stuff, you know, whatever. Um, but that's another subject. I'll say all that stuff for the money talk. Each experience yields a lesson. The more painful the lesson, the more powerful, or excuse me, the more painful the experience, the more powerful, the more profound the lesson. The more the situation hurts, it's because you've either repeated it over and over and the universe is like, okay, you didn't get it that time. We're gonna crank up the volume a little bit. Maybe you'll learn that lesson in the situation and this time. It might look a little different, but it's the same lesson you gotta learn. So that situation gets more intense and more intense and more painful until you learn. And then all of a sudden when you learn it, you'll have this upgrade. All that situation, that stuff will actually never even, well, it might come up again. I have that in my notes today, but anyways, the more painful the experience or situation, the more powerful and profound the lesson there is for you there. Or the deeper the family karmic cycle, the family trauma, and you're here to break that too. And that's a whole other video. When we finally learn the lesson, we become a different person, stronger by being shaped by and enduring that experience and wiser from the lesson that we've learned. So the question is, how do we know we've learned that lesson? How do I know that I've, I've learned that lesson? Here's what has come up for me. You're gonna be tested. You're gonna be tested by the universe to see if you've learned that lesson. This is earth school. We are here to clear our karmas. We are clear to hear the karmas of our own soul and past lives. And, the car and for you as a light worker, as a star seed, you're here to clear the family karmas, the family karmic line of all the traumas through your ancestral line. You're here now to do that also. It's a big challenge, but you chose it and you agreed to it because you were chosen, you agreed to it because you're that powerful. And it's just a matter of you reclaiming your power back in this lifetime in order to do that. So how do we know we've learned the lesson? You're gonna be tested, it's earth school. The same situation or a similar situation will come up and your response is a test from the universe. Your response will be the test to see if you've learned. Do you respond differently? That situation that bothered you before, is it, is it bothering you in the same aspect? Here's that, uh, you're a woman and you treated all, uh, you know, you're ready for a relationship, you've healed from all these, you know, crappy relationships, these dudes cheating on you, taking advantage, whatever. Here comes this guy, most attractive man you've ever seen. He's wealthy and he's love bombing you and he's like showing you all this stuff and you're like, okay. And you jump right in because you get swept off your feet. But that's what you did with the last three guys that cheated on you. So did you learn your lesson and learn to take time to get to know the guy a little bit more before? And then all of a sudden you find out, oh shit, this guy's been talking to six other girls. He's just a player. He's love bombing me. Oh my God, here I am going to do it again. So did you jump right in and get carried away so you can get taken advantage of or did you slow down and say, let me take my time a little bit with this dude. Let me get to know him a little bit before I sleep with him, before I get to know him, so that I don't get burned on, you know, and get heartbroken again. Here you are, man. Your business is blowing up, bro. You got more money than you've ever made in your life. You gonna go piss it away and hire all these people you don't need to hire? You gonna go spend it on a new truck, on a new sports car? Or are you gonna say, let me see how the business does for the first five years and like just chill a little bit and just keep driving you know the day-to-day -day driver I've been having right now I don't need a sports car right now or I'd like one but I'm not there yet so the universe bless you with money you're gonna go piss it away again or are you gonna be res financially responsible this time you're gonna reinvest it back in the business and be patient did you learn your lesson I know I'm talking to you bro because that was me when I started training man I started making a ton of money I was, I was, yes, I was working two jobs, but I was also, as I got better at training, of course, I got you know uh, more and more clients. I was having more success. I like went out and bought this BMW, and it's a dope car, man. I love BMWs, but um, you know, and started living this lifestyle, and I could afford it at the time, but I was not financially, I was not emotionally mature enough and intelligent enough to handle money at that time. So I pissed it away. So here we go again, as I begin to expand. I got money coming to my life. What am I going to do? 
Am I gonna be financially responsible? Am I gonna piss it away, man? Did I learn the lesson? If not, I'm about to go broke again. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to do that. It sucks. That sucks. You know it does. So did I pass? Did I pass the test? The situation comes up and what used to bother you simply doesn't. So these girls, you say you don't care about what other people think. You say you've embodied self-love. You've learned these lessons. And you're okay with being alone now. So these, these chicks right here that are talking trash with you at work, sis, are they still bothering you? If they're not, you pass the test. You ain't worried about it anymore because you know who you are. If you're still caught up in gossip, other people talking behind your back, worried about what other people think, then you didn't pass it. And you haven't learned the lesson yet. And that's also okay. I'm as stubborn, as hard-headed as anyone. The only reason I make these videos, guys, is because I'm just speaking from my experience, man. I am the most hard-headed, like, Jesus, or freaking beat me over the head with a frying pan over and over with the same stuff, man. Like, ugh. I, I am one of the person who has has, to, has had to learn the hard way in the past. And now from like learning these lessons over and over, I'm, I constantly, humility is like the biggest thing that the universe was trying to teach me for so long. So a lot of you guys have said, man, you're so real, you're so authentic. And yes, I am and no, I'm just humble now or I do my best to practice humility because god dang every time I try to do this stuff and I start getting a little recognition or a little money or whatever my ego used to come out and I get all crazy man but no it's humility <laughs> I'm no different than you so the situation comes up what used to bother you simply doesn't this is one way you've known you passed the test you're consciously aware you can identify that this test is coming up. That's when it's real fun. That's when this stuff is real fun. And you go, oh shoot, this is a test. And you can consciously identify and go, oh dang man, that's crazy. This is what Pierce was talking about in that video. This is the test. And when you can identify it, and literally in the moment you're consciously shifting and going, this is what I used to do, I, can, uh, I recognize this crystal clear, this is the test, I'm not gonna do that. What si how, would, how would the new me do this? What did the old me used to do that used to always get burned in this situation? Uh-uh-uh, I learned that lesson. So you do what's different now. You try something different. You do the opposite. And that's when it's uncomfortable too because now you're doing something different and you're not used to that, so it's uncomfortable. But that different response is yielding a different result, which is what you want because you've learned the lesson. You pass the test. Then, did I pass? Did I pass the test? Another way you'll know. That situation simply doesn't show up in your life again. You're not really, you don't really get a bunch of girls all of a sudden that are all petty and be talking behind your back and stuff and trying to sabotage you or like, you know, you don't get, you don't, that, that, you leveled up, your vibration is higher. That, that lower vibrational people, you just don't even meet women like that. Now you're meeting women who are, are uh, in their feminine beauty and power and security within themselves and they're nurturing and they become sisters and they're uplifting and they're supportive and they're not talking behind your back. They're saying stuff straight to your face and having open conversations that are mutually uplifting as a rising tide raises all ships. So you don't even, those people like, the gossip girls, whatever, man, you don't even encounter them in your life anymore because your vibration raised up. You don't even encounter those situations. Money isn't even an issue for you anymore, bro, because you are financially responsible now. You don't feel the need. Sure, dude, go blow a couple hundred bucks on a nice dinner for you and your girl every once in a while. Absolutely, go do that stuff. But you're just not splurging. You don't go out in these crazy shopping sprees anymore. You don't feel this need to impress others and, and go and, you know, you close the big deal instead of going and buying this big present. Go and treat yourself a little bit. Go take yourself out to a nice dinner, whatever, whatever. But you don't feel the need to blow all that money. You're like, cool, man. I just saved an extra five grand this month, an extra 10 grand. This is money I'm gonna go put away. You, you're different now. You don't encounter those same situations. It will come up again though. Every once in a while, those old lessons you learned at the beginning of your journey when you first became awakened and started healing and all this, those old lessons 
those situations, they will come up every once in a while again just to test you again every once in a while. I'll be like, do they still remember this one? Do you still remember that lesson? you still remember this situation? It's going to come up again, just as the universe. Did they really learn it? It'll come up every once in a while just to see if now you're embodying that, if that is truly a part of you. It'll come up again. Especially if it's related to some new goal or a new direction you're facing or a new challenge or endeavor, a new part of your vision and say, okay, in order for them to upgrade to this level, they need to learn this big lesson, but they also need to remember that old one that was a part of it. So it'll come back into your life again. But if you've been practicing this stuff and you're conscious and you're aware, you've been healing, you've been doing the work, yeah, you ain't worried about it, man. You might not even notice it. You just go right by it. I'm like, oh, I learned it. Your circum the, the other way you'll know is if you pass the test, your circumstances will change. Your life will literally upgrade and manifest differently on the 3D world. You will know and see that you're upgrading. You will see it. You'll be very conscious. You're like, dude, I passed that test. You can literally see you just got a raise. So, you know, sis, you just got um, a promotion and you used to go and blow it all uh, extra on like jewelry and makeup or whatever. You don't do that anymore. So you just got a raise and, you know, you got and even though you just got a raise, you passed that test. And so, look, universe, I'm financially responsible on money now. Dang, all of a sudden you got a blessing of money out of nowhere. You got an extra like two grand out of nowhere or something like that. Or you just got another raise six months after getting just a raise right then. Because you passed that test, the universe knows that you can, you can handle this now. So you'll physically see it. You pass the test of discerning that, oh, this dude is just another D-bag with a handsome face and a little bit of money who's trying to love bomb me. You pass that test, you saw through the disguise he was putting up just to get at you. Now, all of a sudden, you really meet the man of your dreams. Now he came into your life and you can easily see it. The day this guy is fine and he's wealthy, but I can see now his heart, that he has a good heart. And he's not some player, some, some, you know, dude just trying to get at me. You know, now you, uh, you've passed this test with your body, with working out, with your, um, overcoming the physical challenge. So now you used to really struggle, struggle with sugar. And every time you get to that point, you lose that 15 pounds, you put it right back on because you self-sabotage. You pass that test, you reprogram the belief. So now you enjoy working out and you got no problem saying no to, you know, junk food and stuff like that. You upgrade it. You'll physically see your appearance and body change. That's how you know you pass the test. Your relationships will improve. You won't be getting in as many arguments or, or talking about the same things you used to. You're be literally becoming a different person. So your life is challenging right now. That's why you're watching this video. But it's for you to learn a lesson and pass the test and then you will upgrade. If you don't, you will just keep repeating the same cycles. Samsara. Same cycle over and over. You gotta break that karmic tie. You gotta break that cycle. That's what you're here for. Here's the thing about it, the caveat. This stuff never stops, ma'am. The journey of healing and ascending and growing, it never stops. It never stops. But once you learn the process of healing and upgrading and your life gets better because you get it and you learn the lessons, you're now, uh, you now view tough times as an opportunity to grow and even look forward to it. That's when it becomes fun. When you can clearly see the challenges and you go, ooh, mother, and you're like, all right, what is the situation trying to teach me? And now all of a sudden you don't avoid it, you actually lean into it and that's when you become unstoppable and the real power comes. You, you realize that every trigger coming at you, things that say that people offend you, you go, yeah, I'm offended as a mother. So what is the lesson I need to learn? Why is that in me? And then you roll up your sleeves and like, let's get to work, man. What do I need to learn? What is that? that's when you become unstoppable, truly powerful. Because nothing gets to you. You see everything as an opportunity to learn and grow from. It's a beautiful thing. About to upgrade. You roll up your sleeves and get it. So what are some tools here to help you learn these lessons? Meditation. Med meditation on so that you can have clarity in your thoughts and be able to d discern what thoughts are coming from my higher self? What thoughts are coming from my ego? What are these negative thoughts that are coming from outside sources that ain't even mine? Meditation, clarity, grounded, being able to sit there in stillness and silence.
and observe the thoughts as they move by. And we'll do, of course, many videos on meditations. I plan on doing guided, uh, making some guided meditations, all those things too. Man, it's so cool. Freaking blessed, man. I got a lot planned for you guys and myself. I'm really excited to grow with you. Uh, one of the most powerful tools for me personally is writing, self-reflection. Self-reflection in general, but especially writing. I've said this before, for me, when I journal, big old thick notebook, blank notebook, all these blank pages, when I sit down and literally write my thoughts out on paper, it is like the most cathartic therapeutic experience for me. It's like getting a massage or like jumping in the ocean or, man, it's just a big release. So writing and reflection, you'll find that especially if you're super anxious, you get all the stuff in your head, when you write it out and you really begin to write and allow yourself to freely express yourself on paper and don't type it, I, or you can, but I recommend writing it. It's so much more powerful because that catharsis, it's your, it's that anxious, nervous energy, those thoughts literally getting put out on paper and it clears your, your mental and emotional and spiritual space. It just gets all the crap out. Bleh. Get it out on paper, write it. It's a cathartic therapeutic experience. And you'll find what happens, or at least for me, when I write it out on paper, how I'm feeling and what my thoughts are and all this stuff, the clarity that I have now, because I've gotten all that stuff out, the clarity of thought that comes into my mind is, it's divine, man. Now my space is clear. That's why, I, that's when the downloads come. That's when all the clarity comes. That's when I'm making these videos, why I sit down and I like to write before every single one. I clear the space, my mental and emotional space, my heart space, my thoughts, and then usually something starts coming to me. Take care of your body, that's another tool. Your diet, your sleep, your water, your exercise, take care of your body. That way your energy levels can be high and when your energy levels are high and you're in a clear mind space, you can sift through this stuff a lot easier. You can see right through it, you can pierce right through it. Ha, see what I did? Go in nature, clear your aura, take your shoes off, go on the grass, go on the sand, dip in the ocean if you can. Clear your energy, clear your aura. Again, this is about creating space so that you can gain clarity on what the situation is. Bunch of quotes today that came up. Um, I'm just gonna read them. There are no mistakes in life, just lessons to be learned. The past is where you learned the lesson. The future is where you apply the lesson. So, and then one thing I've been saying to myself lately, this is my own quote. Real learning is in the application. So if you've really learned these lessons after you reflect and you gain the insight into your own behavior and what each circumstance is presenting to you, if you've really learned the lesson, then you will apply it. What will you do when you're faced in real time with that situation? How will you respond? And this again is clarity meditation. When you're centered, you can respond instead of emotionally react. We all know that dude, that girl who's just like, Man, she gets triggered at the drop of a hat. You could say the most minor thing, and they freak out. They're so cluttered with negative energy, man. It's just nothing but peace and blessings to them that they can find their way to clear their energy because they got so much built up and it just is being projected, diarrhea all over to the world. It's unfortunate, but that's why we're here. We lead by example. That's our job. There are certain life lessons that you can only learn in the struggle. I say, man. There are certain life lessons that you can only learn in the struggle. Uh, I always used to say this. I still, I mean, clearly I still do. You can like read a thousand books on how to build a rocking chair. But then when you go to build a rocking chair, it can turn out like crap because you never built a rocking chair, even though you read it a million times. You have to apply the, and that is, you know, think about it. Everything you've learned in life, you went to school and learned all this stuff. You really didn't learn what you needed to learn until you got into that job, until you got into that profession. This happened to me, uh, with me in personal training. I like, got so much education. I was studying all the books and anatomy and physiology, and I got all this, you know, crazy sports medicine, uh, you know, sports science and exercise science knowledge and stuff. And I went into a public gym, never had a training job before. And my manager was like, "Show me how to do this." And I was like, "You go like this." He goes, "Man, you don't know what the hell you're doing." And I was like shit I don't <laughs> oh man I got humbled over and over in the training world it's beautiful humbled me man humble humility that's how we learn when we think we know the answers we can't learn anything so I already know the answer but think about a master at his craft they're still learning and that's why they're so good and they probably know more than you and I I know they know more than you and I 
they're still learning. It's because they have humility. We'll do a video on that. So spend time in reflection. The two questions you've got to ask yourself, what is the universe trying to teach me right now? What are the lessons I need to learn from this situation? So just ask yourself those two questions. Sit in quiet meditation with a journal in front of you. Write out the situation. Talk about it. Man, I'm so pissed off. You know, Gabby, she's talking all this crap. Blah, 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 blah. Man, oh my God, I can't believe it happened again. Uh, you know, Brian's such a dick. He just cheated on me. Fucking Brian. No offense if your name's Brian. Just, you know, a little humor, of course, right? We just, we just talking. But, you know, you're sitting down there saying, oh, my God, I can't believe it. You, you know, like, oh, it was so good in the beginning. He was buying me flowers and taking me out to these nice restaurants. And, all, and then he cheated on me again. Write that out. Say, so then the questions you ask yourself. What, are the, what is the universe trying to teach me? What are the lessons I need to learn about this situation? When you really learn, you'll get tested. And then when you pass the test, those new blessings will come into your life. You're upgrading. Oracle card of the day. <laughs> it's so funny, man. Like I talk I, like about, you know, practical scenarios, but this is my, I realize like this is my gift is be able to talk about spiritual and emotional concepts and intelligence and then distill them into a practical manner. I know, I know that's what my, one of my gifts, one of my skills are. And then when I pull the Oracle cards out, I get so many people that are like, oh dude, you had me till you pulled the, those cards out. And it's like, that's cool, man. It's not for you. You know, you can shut off right now. It's all good. But when you tap into the divine, the divine and you understand who you truly are, that we're all connected. Okay. We're back. See, we learn in every day, man. The, I've been, I don't have my um, camera. It's still in storage right now. And I don't really want to dig through it. I'll wait till I get more settled. But anyway, so I've been filming this on my freaking phone and um, I ran out of storage. So <laughs> I had to go through and delete some of the old videos and stuff. So anyways, we're going to pull the Oracle card. But uh, what I was saying was this stuff turns some people off and they're like, oh man, you know, uh, you had me until you were talking about all the, you know, Oracle cards or whatever. And I get it, you know, um, but like I was saying, one of my gifts, one of my skills is being able to take these emotional and spiritual concepts and ideas and distill them in a practical way that you can apply to your life. And this is part of it for me. This is us connecting to spirit. So whether this resonates with you or not, it's all good. You can just click off, you know, it's no big deal. But uh, I mean, when I start talking about, eventually probably start talking about things like astral project projection and uh, you know, quantum jumping and alternate realities. And it gets weird. <laughs> I mean, cause that stuff will probably come at some point or not. I don't really know. We'll see what spirit wants me to do. But anyways, this is part of it, man. Um, for me, I feel like this is a lot of, con uh, it gives a lot of people a lot of confirmation. So I guess what comes up is interesting. Am I like defending myself? I don't think I'm defending myself, but I just, um, what this is about for me, this whole channel and stuff is helping to bring awareness and enlightenment, not that I'm enlightened. And again, like I'm some freaking sage or guru. I'm not, man, I'm just a regular dude. But this has always given me confirmation and a way for me to connect to spirit. And if you watch some of these videos, man, there's no coincidence, some of the messages that come up, it's like, of course, it's in perfect alignment here. So I guess what it is, is it's not me defending it, it's for those who are uncomfortable with this. And I, I spoke about this the other day to open up to why you're uncomfortable with this, because again, your triggers, what makes you uncomfortable is a lesson for you to learn. You know, most people, they see these cars and they're what immediately conjures up in their mind is, oh, it's witchcraft. You're a witch, you're a warlock. And, and you know, because there's this negative connotation with tarot cards and stuff. So it's a fear within them, you know, that these cards provoke. So it's a fear within you. So again, we have to approach the triggers and resistance on ourselves. That's what this whole video has been about to teach you lessons about yourself. What is it you're really scared of? Why do these bother you so much? They're just cards. You know, think of it like that. Kind of crazy, right? When you put it like that. So anyways, tap three times to clear the energy. We ask for the purest and most divine truth in your highest good and my highest good and the highest good of the collective. Uh, not really neck cracks today. Usually after I'm sitting here talking, man, we get in a little neck crack. But okay. Oh, man, the wind's all picking up. That means it's about time. We got the angels blowing through right now outside. That's beautiful. The little yellow flowers. That was the one. The lovers. Oof. Talking a lot to the ladies that, who have been taken advantage of by men, which is unfortunately a lot. And I'll talk to the men. I'll do a video on that about 
divine masculine and healing and stuff. That's why a lot of women get abused, man. It's just um, unhealed divine masculine energy and divine feminine energy. The feminine energy isn't healed, so you're attracting in the wounded divine masculine that is creating that situation in which you're getting mistreated because, you know, again, unhealed divine masculine, but it's the unhealed divine feminine in you that's attracting that. So anyways, we'll talk about that. The lovers, Archangel Raphael. You know, it's crazy. So always, I hold it up because always look at the picture. Whatever the images are bringing up for you in your mind, in your heart, feelings, colors, reflect on that because that's a message from you for a uh, message for you from spirit. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love. The universe will always try to teach you through love first. If we don't learn the lessons through love, that will teach us through pain. The universe loves you. Everything's happening for you, not to you. So what are the lessons you need to learn about the difficult situation, circumstance that you're currently in in order to ascend and not have this happen again? Deeply. Okay, so let's do it. Six, the lovers. Maybe you have some love in your life. I mean, no coincidence, a lot of the, the prime example I was using about women getting cheated on or taken advantage of in emotional relationships, romantic relationships, and the lovers come up, right? We're talking about this. This And it also, yeah, anyways, this card encourages you to follow your heart. Deep, e deep felt emotions are likely to be experienced as a key relationship enters your life. This could be a romantic partnership that leads to marriage or someone you feel a very close but platonic connection with. Either way, this is an individual you can trust completely. And the relationship is likely to be life-changing in a very positive way. What a good omen for all of us. Archangel Raphael can help you manifest the soulmate relationship or deep friendship that you desire. This card can also indicate an extremely important choice that needs to be made. This decision should be made from the heart with absolute devotion to the outcome and without reservation. If there's any question in your mind as to how to proceed, then you must take time to weigh the matter and choose carefully. Talking about reflection, talking about clearing your energy so you can think clearly both with your mind and your heart, right? Additional meanings of the card, the power of love, the need to be careful, the need for a careful deliberation, a fork in the road, you've got a decision to make. Recovery from a physical ailment. So... That is what I got for you guys today. Love you so much and really appreciate you, your continued support and feedback. We'll be back with another one tomorrow. Peace, love, and light, and I will talk to you all soon. Peace.